Hey everyone, welcome back to Maple Syrup Gaming, and today we're going to be taking a look at some more great accessories for your Nintendo Switch. And what's more specifically great about this batch of five accessories is that they all make great stocking stuffers for the coming holiday season. And if you're wondering why they make such great stocking stuffers, well, number one, they're all really cheap with the most expensive one on the table here coming out at just under $20. And if you get it on sale, you can even get it way cheaper than that. Number two, although these accessories are cheap, they're actually all really useful and also of pretty decent quality. And lastly, they're all available also on Amazon, meaning that even if this is a last minute gift idea, it's really easy to get them shipped to you really quickly and efficiently. If you have a Prime membership, generally within a day or two, it'll be at your doorstep. And also, I'm putting this video out before Black Friday, because if you are looking for stocking stuffers, or even maybe a little something special for yourself, a lot of these accessories come from manufacturers that often give great Black Friday deals. So keep an eye out if you want to pick up any of these. So as we're going through the accessories, keep in mind also that I'm leaving my affiliate links down in the description of the video below. So if you want an easy way to pick up these accessories, feel free to use those links. And also, as usual, if you like what you're seeing and you want to see some more, don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you aren't already, because the more likes and subscribes we get on the video, the easier it is for me to make more of them for you. So now let's get started with the main event and start taking a look at that first accessory. So the first accessory I want to take a look at is the FunLab Pokedex Switch Game Card Case. So as the name implies, this is a Switch game case. And it's shaped like none other than the Pokedex from Pokemon. So first of all, if you yourself are a huge fan of Pokemon, or the person you're buying this for is a huge fan of Pokemon, well, the design of this case is just going to be a huge plus because the Pokedex is really reproduced in a pretty awesome fashion. Number two, the case is made out of aluminum, making it really sturdy and protecting your games really well. And it can store up to six additional games for you in two separate sections with nice foam inserts that really keep your game safe, but at the same time, easy to retrieve quickly. But in my opinion, that's not even its biggest upside. Its biggest upside is it's awesome really slim form factor because depending on which Nintendo Switch case you have often the biggest biggest problem is fighting for space so take this ultra thin Switch Lite case there's no way you're fitting in a full-sized Nintendo Switch game case like this so let's say you're going on a long trip and other than the eight spaces you have here you'd like to throw in a few extra cartridges but you don't want to risk them getting damaged or losing them. Well, the FunLab Pokedex is awesome for that because this fits in there absolutely no problem and your Switch case closes like a dream. So honestly, the biggest selling factor is that the FunLab Pokedex just fits in any case. Now, next on our list of great accessories is the 8-Bit Doe G-Bros Adapter. Now this accessory was quickly mentioned in one of my previous videos, but we didn't go into too many details because that video wasn't actually focusing around this accessory, but I think it merits a few minutes in the spotlight. Now basically the G Bros adapter is a great little accessory that allows you to use either any type of GameCube controller on your Nintendo Switch or anything for the NES Classic. So if you know a retro gamer that has a lot of GameCube controllers or anyone who invested in the NES Classic or SNES Classic, well, this is a great accessory to surprise them with. Now, not only that, but it even works on PC. So if you want to bring those accessories to the PC, you can get this adapter and it'll work as well. Not only that, but this adapter actually turns those controllers into semi-wireless versions because this adapter itself connects by Bluetooth to your Nintendo Switch, meaning that after that, the controller plugged into this doesn't actually have to connect directly to the Nintendo Switch. It only has to connect into the adapter. And the adapter is so well thought out that obviously those controllers won't have a home or a capture button. 
But these two buttons here on the uh, adapter itself, when you have it connected to the controller, will serve as your home and your capture button, meaning that you're losing out on none of the functionality of your Nintendo Switch. Now there is, however, one tiny maybe downside that some people will find in this adapter. It's that it's battery operated. You need two double A's for it to be able to use its connectivity options. And I know that for some people, that will be a major letdown. But for all the functionality for the price this is going for, which is about 10 to $15, honestly, it's a great accessory, as I said, for anyone that already has those GameCube controllers or those NES or SNES classic controllers. So to stay with the retro theme a little bit, we'll be taking a look at the 8-bit though SN30 Bluetooth controller for your Nintendo Switch. Now this is not to be mistaken with the SN30 Pro, which I actually reviewed for the channel a couple of weeks ago. This is really the SN30, the retro controller made for your Nintendo Switch. But let's get into the details and you'll see what we're talking about. So the SN30 Pro is the perfect controller for a retro fanatic that loves to game either on the Nintendo Switch, their phone, or even their PC. Because although we're looking at this from a Nintendo Switch perspective, it works with all those systems. And it's one of the reasons I actually prefer the SN30 to, like I said, the version that Nintendo made themselves for the Nintendo Switch. The second reason being the price. I picked this up for $15. And this accessory generally should cost you anywhere between $20 to $15. If it's any higher than that, just wait for it to go on sale. It will eventually. What's really great about this controller is that in feel and even in build quality, it's almost identical to the original Super Nintendo controller. So if you yourself or the person you're buying this for is nostalgic for playing with the real feel of having those retro controllers in hand, well, you won't be disappointed with the SN30. Now be careful though, because 8-Bit though did make an updated version and this is the updated version that I have here. So make sure when you're shopping around that you get the newer version of this controller because they put in an actual better D-pad than the first version of this controller. And secondly, the overall response and quality of the buttons has been increased as well. So if you love playing with the Super Nintendo app or simply those retro collections on your Nintendo Switch, this is the perfect, perfect controller for that. And don't be mistaken, even though there is no home button on the controller itself, with the combination of basically the left and start here, you can actually activate the home button function, no problem on the controller. And this one will not require any batteries. It is rechargeable. However, it is a micro USB uh, port. I would like to see them upgrade this to a USB type C so that it matches your Nintendo Switch itself. And also all the other newer controllers done by 8-Bit though, which have pretty much all been upgraded to a USB type C. However, other than that, this is a great controller. But don't get mistaken, you can play every Switch game with it because there are no thumbsticks. I mean, it should be pretty evident. If you do want those options, the SN30 Pro is available. And although the feeling is very authentic as well, it, it's not quite as good as the nostalgic feel that this controller will give you. Now, the next accessory we're gonna take a look at is another controller, but with a totally different perspective. Once again, it's from 8-bit though, but it's the Zero Two. And this controller or this accessory is so good that I even bought a second one, but it also has a very special application when you buy them in pairs. So here we have the 8-bit though Zero Two. Now, the first thing I just want you to notice about this controller is how incredibly small they are. I have a Nintendo Switch cart here just for size comparison. Basically, these controllers are only slightly bigger than two Nintendo Switch carts. That's how small they are. I mean, take I mean, take a look in my hand. That's the size of this controller when you're using it. However, although its size is incredibly small, all the buttons are accessible and functional on this controller. However, once again, this is a controller that was made for retro gaming. It doesn't have the ZLZR. 
it doesn't have analog sticks either, obviously. Once again, however, the home button is accessible with a button combination. So even though there's no dedicated home button, you still have the function on this controller. And you can even access the rewind function on the retro controllers with another button combination. Now, obviously, the primary reason for buying this controller is the amazing and incredible portability it offers. Like if you like playing your Nintendo Switch in tabletop mode for those retro gaming rather than playing it in handheld mode, but you don't have a lot of space, or once again, you have just one of those tiny, tiny cases for your Nintendo Switch, well, the 8-bit Do 2 is going to be your go-to controller. But now we get to the most amazing option with this controller. And that's the reason actually why I bought two of these controllers. And that's because if you like to play with friends on the go, this is the perfect setup for some retro gaming. Like if you like to bring your Switch to work or just to a friend's place and you don't want to have to carry around a huge case, having two of these 8-bit Doe Zero Twos in your bag is just awesome. You have no idea how many times on my lunch break with people at work, even people who aren't that into gaming, I've popped out my 8-bit Doe Zero Two hand it to one of my colleagues and just played some Street Fighter 2 while we eat. And honestly, that's why these controllers give you such an awesome experience. Once again, they're also very cheap. I got these, like I said, for $15 on sale. They do sometimes go up all the way to $20, $25, but at those prices, I would skip on it and just wait till they go down. Anyway, like I said for this video, keep an eye out on Black Friday, because 8-Bit Doe is one of those companies that loves to do sales. Now, once again, this controller is fully rechargeable. This time, once again, they put a micro USB uh, charger on this controller. But at the size it is, I can forgive them for that because obviously a USB Type-C connector takes quite a more space on the board itself. So I can understand why they opted with a micro USB in this case. The only thing I want to mention is this in no way will replace the previous controller we looked at, the SN30, because if you're going to be playing for long gaming sessions on your own, I mean, this controller after a while will become uncomfortable, especially if you have larger hands. Uh, this isn't a controller to play like for four or five hours gaming sessions. Now, the last accessory on our list is an accessory specifically made for the Nintendo Switch Lite, and it is the protective flip cover from Dobie. Now, mine says Dobie, but I just want you to know that this is also sold under many different names. However, it's always the exact same flip cover, just rebranded because if you haven't guessed, it's a knockoff. However, keep in mind that this one is under $10 when the official Nintendo one is above $30. However, at the same time, they are really different worlds apart in quality. However, I do think that this accessory can be very good for a specific type of Nintendo Switch gamer out there. And we'll take a look at that in the close-up. Now, in the beginning, I'm going to be a little harsh with this cover. Just because if you guys decide to pick this up, I want you to make sure that you know what to expect. However, all along, keep in mind, under $10, official Nintendo one, above $30. Now, basically, this is a flip cover for your Nintendo Switch. However, it is very thin and the material is actually quite pliable. So this is not a case made for incredible sturdiness or resistance. However, the backside is a harder cover, although once again, maybe not the most rigid or toughest plastic out there. Now I know I sound like I'm ripping on this accessory, but keep with me for a few seconds, you'll see, I still think that at the price it's sold for, it's a really decent option for a very specific type of Nintendo Switch gamer. Lastly, which is very different from the Nintendo uh, flip cover itself, is that rather than using a magnetic uh, locking process, this has little suction cups that basically contact your Nintendo Switch screen and basically stick to the screen itself, keeping the flip cover closed. So let's start by getting the Nintendo Switch in here and we'll take a look at what it's like. Okay, so now we have the Nintendo Switch Lite in there. First of all, those suction cups 
work decently well at keeping the case closed for your Nintendo Switch Lite. Like it's not flopping over, but however, any light touch and that case will flip open. So it's not the best process, but it works. Now, if we take a look at it closed, the, the protection offered by this case is not like the official Nintendo one that pretty much covers your whole Switch. Basically, what, even when it's closed, you can see the Nintendo Switch Lite pick, peeking out from quite a few corners. However, what is good for this case is that it does protect the screen from any direct hits. And that's why I said that this can be an awesome accessory for a specific type of Nintendo Switch gamer. And I would say that this is specifically great for someone who primarily uses their Switch Lite in the house. I mean, your Switch Lite, you don't throw it in bags. You don't need it protected in an extreme way because you pretty much only play when you're sitting around the house. But at the same time, if you leave this on a kitchen counter, on a table, and someone drops something accidentally on your Switch, you do want a modest level of protection. And this is where this flip cover at 10 bucks is an awesome buy. If you have a kid that leaves this Switch light at home all the time, but always leaves it like on his bedroom floor, on the kitchen table, like I said earlier, and you're always telling him to keep it out of the way to make sure he doesn't break it, well, honestly, this is a $10 investment that I would say is more than worth it. Now, there is a second advantage to this case, is that it actually offers little grips for the Nintendo Switch Lite itself that actually makes it more comfortable to play with. So basically, if you leave the case on, you flip it over and you play like this, having the grips on this case actually makes it a more comfortable playing situation than not. So once again, for under 10 bucks, I mean, I wasn't expecting something of the Nintendo quality, but keep in mind, under $10, official Nintendo version, more than three times more expensive than that. But I just want to really reiterate, this is not an awesome case for someone that does a lot of traveling with their Switch. Like I wouldn't throw this in the backpack with only this as protection. I'd be worried that my Switch in the end would come out harmed. But if it's only laying around the house and you just want a modest level to make sure that nothing comes directly into contact with the screen, you know what? Don't feel bad about it. For 10 bucks, go with this protective case. So here we are, the five awesome ideas of Switch accessories to offer as stocking stuffers for either a friend, a family member, or even why not yourself. And as you saw in the video, although they're all under $20, they all have really useful case scenarios, making them great gifts for the right person. Now, if any of you out there already have these accessories, I'd love to hear from you to see if you agree with what I'm saying about these accessories or if there's anything I forgot about. And if you do end up looking to pick up these accessories, don't forget, as I said earlier, links in the description down below. Feel free to use them, although they are affiliate links. So I hope you all liked this video. If you did, like I said earlier, don't forget to drop that like, subscribe if you aren't already. And as usual, I hope I'll catch all of you in my next video.